can't believe in Utah it cost me this much to fill up. And it's only four dollars and twenty it's only that much. And I feel it that much. Ain't no way, bro, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Oh my god. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Goofy D's back again with another video. Back again. Two time back here, I'm coming to this video. We're just thinking of a brand new video. You know what I'm saying? What up, Goofy Gang? It's your boy, Goofy D. Back again. So, currently, right now, uh, I started off with the vlog. What do you really think? Um, so, currently, right now, I am in Salt Lake City, Utah. And uh, I just got done putting in gas. And look how much gas. Oh, hell no. Hey. Oh, no, baby. Ain't no way, man. Ain't, ain't no way. But it's like I, I'm just playing. I didn't even gas up yet, but I gotta gas up. So uh, I'm gonna talk more in the truck. Uh, but I'm on my way to Nevada, uh, Oloka, Nevada. If you know the city, you, then you know what it means. But I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get done filling up in this truck. So stay tuned. Stuck in traffic, stuck in traffic. There's a lot to it in this. looking at this right now but I drove honestly I drove 25 hours with no sleep so I drove from the beginning of Utah like the edge of Utah going into Salt Lake City from Salt Lake City all the way to Nevada uh, Erico, Nevada, and then finally, now I am driving to Sparks. I'm gonna try to get a hotel. If not, I'm gonna sleep in the truck, like for the last couple of days. And now, uh, I think there's gonna be another clip of me explaining what happened throughout the day. Uh, so just stay tuned. And then these people are working on the road. Like this one makes it worse. Like. These people work on the road, like, on the worst times. All these construction workers are working on the, on the road. Yes. Back to normal road. Oh, all these mountains. I gotta go 
up and down them. When I was hauling that 82 pound, 8200 pounds, it was hard to come up these mountains. Now since I ain't got nothing, it is good. It feels good to come up these mountains. I gotta put in the power though. Power mode on. guys like I always keep saying there's a lot more to box trucking than it is just getting a truck getting a DOT and all that other stuff there's a lot more to it a lot so if you need information about this like information like on seriously how to make money on box trucking the right way DM me and I'll and, and, I'll, and I'll give you the knowledge think about it you're gonna make millions you're gonna make millions off of doing this, but you gotta do it the right way. Otherwise, you're just gonna get shut down real, real quick. But again, let me focus on this road, and if you have, if you want knowledge, DM me. I'm gonna leave my uh, Instagram somewhere on the screen, and go ahead and DM me. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Turn on all post notifications, man. truck over to that white lane like bad like I was already like three of my wheels are already on that side and man that wind is strong but here it's, it's a little bit of wind but I, I don't feel it as much overall I like I, I like this I ain't fly, I've always loved California I've always loved California just for me to visit them and, and come and, and come and travel I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't, I don't know about living because living in California is expensive. But uh, yeah, if y'all guys are not caught up, this is me driving from all the way from Nevada all the way to Oregon. So stay tuned. look like need for speed
sign where it said that we are in Oregon. Woo! Driving from Houston to Oregon. It ain't no game. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no game. But look at the view, man. Look at the view. This view is so gorgeous, bro. It's clean, bro. For real, for real. But anyway, we're heading to Oregon right now. We're heading to, uh, I think, Portland, Oregon. And uh, we're going to get a hotel. And after that, I'm going to chop it up with y'all. Alright guys. Uh. Uh. <laughs> you thought I filled this up like that. <laughs> I didn't. That's not even me. That's somebody else. But we're gonna go gas up the truck. We're gonna gas up the truck. And then after that we're gonna use the restroom and then after that we're gonna go back on the road. It's top. Dang it's on time. I use that pump. Anyway, I'll turn on back the video once I get done gassing up. And I'm gonna show y'all how much I gassed up. Alright guys. Look at this view bro. This is nice. I gotta be very careful because I'm on the edge. Like the edge of the island, literally. On the edge of the state. <laughs> showing y'all these views while I'm driving uh, to Oregon. I mean, because I mean, this is a box truck. And I don't know what to really explain. It's a box truck and I'm just showing y'all. But, like I also said in my last video, if you want knowledge on how the box trucking works and if you want more videos with the box truck, you need to let me know. Comment down below. Or DM me. DM me and let me know what you uh what you want to see. Follow me on my, uh, on my Instagram. It's somewhere on the screen. You know what I'm saying? And let me know what you like to see and what you want to see for the channel. Or if you want to buy some on-box trucking to make money. Like, serious money. But yeah, this view is nice. I ain't for a lot though. Yeah. If you can, if, if you look all the way down, it just looks like a, a, a I hate to say it, but it looks like a drag strip. Like, I'm finna race tomorrow next week. <laughs> but uh yeah man this is it's nice it's nice
going on YouTube with your boy Goofy D back again with another video. Uh, same day, well, same day, same video. Uh, so today, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go drop off the load that I got all the way from Utah. Uh, no, Nevada. I picked it up from Nevada and all the way to Oregon. Man, that journey, when I say it was windy and strong and crazy, man, it was crazy and strong. But before we get started to the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification bell. Uh, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like it, make sure you comment. But uh, I wanted to show y'all something real quick. So, I'm walking to my side of my truck. You know what I'm saying? I'm walking to my truck. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? I looked at my window, and I think I was just dreaming. But I had to come down here to make sure, because I'm about to go and drop off this load, which I'm glad I got up early enough to go drop off this load. So, currently, right now, it is... 511 it's 511 right now and i gotta drop it off in another 30 minutes to 40 minutes so um you know like i said i'm walking i'm gonna I'm walk so i can go on and start my uh, start my truck so let's go on ahead and do a remote start to the truck and i'm gonna show y'all guys the truck so you can see the truck it's right there right see the truck right there right so you know what i'm saying we got the key Gone in head and remote start the truck. And there it goes. It started, remote started. So now, this is what I wanted to show y'all. And I don't know why people do this, but it's just weird. I don't know why people do it. I don't know what the reason is. I don't know what the explanation is. But if you see this type of big truck, and I, this just goes for everybody that's in trucking. I know everybody gets irritated with this. So, here we are. We see the truck, right? Ooh, I tripped over there. It's probably because I'm just irritated. So, you see, there's a car right over there, right? But there's three other ones. So, I'm, I'm sitting here just, just, you know what I'm saying, looking out the window. My, my window's somewhere over there. But, um, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm here. There goes my truck. You see me in remote start the truck. So I come over and I'm like, oh, there's a, there's a car right behind me. Okay, maybe I'm just tripping. They, maybe they're far back off. And, and, and you see, I don't got enough room to go forward to go out, to get out of this hotel. So I, I gotta get out. I, I, I gotta do some wiggling. That's gonna get fixed. Don't worry about that. So this is what happens. I'm going all the way over here. Like I said, I look out my window. And for some apparent reason, this car decides to park in front of me. Why? 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 At least give me enough. Uh, give me one more car room. I can ask for that. At least give me one more car room. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't understand that. I don't understand. Y'all let me know if I'm, just, if, if I'm just tripping or something. But let me know. Am I tripping? Because, um... Now I gotta back up and make sure I don't hit your car. Then I gotta come up up here to make sure I don't hit this freaking curb. But it's another reason why I should not have backed up a little bit further back because of people like that. So this is a big truck. I can see, I can see if I have a way to maneuver back out this way, but I gotta make sure I don't hit this curb. Plus don't hit that lady's, hit this lady or man's car. I think it's a lady, but I don't know. But, but, I don't understand that. The truck is sitting right here. Why would you park right next to, right, right behind me? Like, just right behind me. I don't understand that. Um, yeah, I thought the truck was flat. It ain't flat. This is how it is. It's that truck. You see, it looks flat, but it's not flat. This might do my normal inspection, inspection of the truck. But I... What the hell was that? Oh, it was that car. But you know what I'm saying? I don't... I just don't understand this. Like, why would you park right behind a semi-truck? I just don't understand that. I just don't understand that. 
Y'all comment down below. Y'all comment down below. Am, am, am I just tripping or am I in the right here? Because if you park right behind a semi and you know they gotta leave, now they go up to the front desk and tell them that they gotta move that car. And that's a whole bunch of time wasted. But this is why I'm glad I left well, living out the hotel early because it's stupid stuff like that. To me, that's stupid. Now, now I'm gonna show you something. The person parked right there. All these parking spaces, all those parking spaces, all those parking spaces up there, all them parking spaces over there, all that over there, and either still side to side to park right behind a semi. Right behind a semi. I, I don't understand that. Come, comment down below. I know car guys hate it. I know car guys hate it because I'm a car person. I had a charger, but a story to that so if you want a story to what happened to my charger comment down below and i'm gonna explain or right, comment down below and let me know if you want to hear about that story or again give me let's get a thousand likes no let's do two thousand likes for this video and i'll explain the story of what happened to, to my charger but um the fact that you parked right behind a semi and C come on now what, what sense does that make like i gotta get out you see i barely have enough parking in the front you see that i barely have enough space in the front to go out why park in the front i i, I just I, I don't i don't understand that but again people are not really too bright so like i said i know a lot of car guys hate it I know car guys hate it when you park far and you know that you do it because you don't want to be bothered or you don't want to buy the park right next to you or damage your car. So you park far out. But then the person goes and decides to park right next to you. And I'm like, what, what, what is wrong with you? I just parked like that for a reason. Again, I can't, I'm, I, I can't comprehend people's logic or common sense, but now I got to wiggle out of here. So. I'm gonna turn back the camera when I get out of this spot. Let's pray I don't hit that person's car or I or hit this curb. All the way, I'm gonna have to do a lot of moving. So stay tuned, stay tuned for the rest of the video, but this is crazy. Stay tuned. Oh, FYI, FYI, I do have a dash cam inside the truck, so it's cool, it's whatever. I know it's gonna be solved. So I got dash cam, I got a dash cam. But I'm gonna turn on the video once I get done. And I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna get out of this. All right guys, so I'm on the street. I finally got out of that spot. Oh, people just, just irritating. But, I'm right now heading to the drop off spot. Heading over there right now. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for more. All right, so as you seen from the last clip, I finally made it back out. But um, if you're new to the channel, like I said, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You're gonna hear me say that a lot. I'm not even gonna lie. But then also, guys, I just made a TikTok. It's gonna be funny. So, and I just made an Instagram reel. So if you're new, make sure you follow my social media, which is including my TikTok and my Instagram and my Twitter. I know Twitter's gonna grow soon, which is I always promote, but just make sure you subscribe to uh, my channel. Well, not subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube and be engaged in my TikTok and my uh, Instagram, excuse me. I had a burp, but a hiccup at the same time. I don't know how that works. But I'm on my way now to the drop off, so I'm gonna have to get back with y'all in a little bit. Got done dropping off the load here at Home Depot. I'll see you at the hotel.